Okay, I'm going to mix up some Rubio Mono Coat. And um, I have some coasters and a serving tray that I'm going to go ahead and put the Rubio Mono Coat on. So I'll put my gloves on. I always like to work with gloves. Open this up. You got a Part A. Well, it's not really a Part A. It's a... Um, the oil, and then you got an accelerator. Okay, so this is the Rubio Mono Coat. And what I like to use is a syringe. Okay, it makes it easy to do the ratio. It's a three to one ratio. So basically your part A, which it's not a part A, but your um, oil is three to one part accelerator. So I got... A decent amount of stuff. So what I'm going to do is do, uh, let's see, we want to do, let's see, we'll do nine. That's even too much. Um, two, four, six. All right, we'll do six, six milliliters of the oil. And then we'll do two milliliters of the accelerator. And that'll be a three to one ratio. And you don't want to leave these open too long they, without the cover on them. It tends to get a skim on it. That's what I'm noticing right here. So we're going to do three, six milliliters. Okay, I got six milliliters right there. And that's a uh, three. And then when you do the accelerator, you need to take and clean out your syringe. If you have two syringes, you don't have to clean them. I don't have two syringes, so I take uh, mineral spirits and I just rinse it out. And then I dry the syringe out. Okay, I take the syringe apart, I just dry it, put a rag down in here, terry cloth rag. That works pretty good. I have all my pieces already ready. I cleaned them with mineral spirit. I really like the Rubio Mono Coat. It's uh, a pretty predictable uh, finish. Okay, the epoxy... Um, is a little less predictable. You get a lot of dimples. You get different things happen with it. Where this is pretty predictable. You clean your piece with the sand it up to, I go up to 4,000 grit. And I'm going to do a video on sandpaper. Um, I go up to 4,000 grit sanding. And then clean it with the mineral spirits. And then it's... Uh, ready to mix up the Rubio Mono Coat, and then we can start applying it. So it works pretty good. Just our lighting a little bit. Okay. It's a little better, but I'm still kind of... All right. So I got the six milliliters in there. Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put the accelerator in there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll show you. We're going to do two milliliters. Okay, it's not very much. And same thing. When you, after you put the accelerator in, I clean it with the mineral spirits. And then I dry it out. And it seems to work pretty well. I use the same one. I've done, I don't know, three or four coats with this. So it's pretty good. Um, it's the only syringe I have at the moment. So once we get this dried, we'll go ahead, we'll mix this up, and then we're going to start applying it. And it's pretty easy to apply also. That's what I like about it. Okay. So that's it for the syringe. I use one of these 
rulers, measuring tapes. I cut them into one foot increments. Makes a nice stir stick. It's good for color. I use these for a lot of different things. So I mix up the Rubio Mono Coat. Doesn't have to be mixed like epoxy. You don't have to mix it for three minutes or anything. You just mix it for a little while and then it's good to go. It's a nice finish to apply. It, it's very durable. It bonds to the wood fibers and it makes the color and the resin also uh, come out. So it's a very nice finish. All right, so let me finish mixing this and then we'll start applying. Okay, I have the Rubio Mono Coat all mixed up. It's ready to go. I just put in a little Dixie cup because uh, you don't need much. All right, I'm gonna do the serving tray first. I'm gonna pour a little out. Okay, and then I'm gonna use an applicator. All right, use this for Bondo, body work. All right, and you just take and smear this on. I'm only doing the top surface because the bottom surface, I actually did a flood coat with epoxy. So I don't want it to run over the edges. So I'm gonna be very careful not to, I'll probably just go around with a rag and get the, the outer edges. But I don't want it running down Just spread it out nice and evenly. Just a real nice finish to work with. Just go ahead and spread it around. You're gonna let it sit for about five minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and wipe it off. Like I said, I don't want any down the sides, so I'm gonna Trying to be careful not to get it on the sides. So this piece is finished on both sides. Okay, it's finished on the top and the bottom. The excess I'm just going to put back in the Dixie cup here. Don't want to waste any. We're going to use this on the coasters. I actually probably could have mixed up a little more than I did. Okay, I see on the side we do have a little bit running down, so I wanna I wanna just get that wiped off before. Okay, so we'll let that sit. Now we're gonna go ahead and start doing these coasters. Same thing. Just put a little drop, take our applicator. Go along the edges. Okay. That's it. We just keep going. Let it sit for about five minutes and then we're going to go ahead and we'll wipe it off. So I just Smear it around the applicator. I get down the sides a little bit. Brings out the, the resin real nice. Like I said, I, I sanded this up to 4,000 grit. You want to get a real high grit. The higher the grit, the more sheen you're going to get with this Rubio Mono Coat. And then what I'll do is 24 hours after I apply the Rubio Mono Coat, I'm going to apply maintenance oil. And that's going to bring it up to a little bit higher sheen. So this will really get a nice shiny look out of these pieces. And one thing that's nice about it, it's a predictable finish. Like you just apply it, wipe it off, and that's it. Okay, it's going to look pretty good.
for epoxy, you just, you just never know what's going to happen with the flood coat. So I really like the Rubio Mono coat. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep going, and I'll be back. Okay, once you let it sit for five minutes, you go ahead and you rub it off. Okay, you can see the excess on there. I just do the edges. Got a cotton rag. I do the edges. Put it in my hand. These are coasters, and I just rub it off. And wait 24 hours, and then I'm going to put the maintenance oil on. Similar to putting the Rubio 2C on. You just, there's no accelerator in it, but you just put it on, rub it on, buff it off, and it works very nice. Okay, and there's a finished coaster. So that's all you do. I just do the edges. I rub this off. Real easy finish. Another finish is Osmo. I've never used Osmo, but I hear that's a nice, also a very nice finish. Rub on, rub off type of finish. So that's what you do. Okay. Have everything coated. I did a second buff after you wipe it off the first time. Just take a terry cloth rag, wipe it around, brings it up to a little higher sheen. So I always wipe it a second time, give it a little time, wipe it off, and then you can see it shines a little better. That's 4,000 grit with the sandpaper, brings that resin up to a nice high shine. It does a nice job.